What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to part one of our Let's Play of Elden Ring The Convergence. Now, for those that don't know what this is, this is a mod for Elden Ring. Uh, the folks behind this made my all-time favorite Dark Souls 3 mod. We played that on the channel uh, probably about a year ago or so. Had like a necromancer. Super, super fun. Uh, and I've heard literally nothing but good things about this. I was, I was hoping to wait a little bit longer because it's only an alpha. But from what people have told me, despite being an alpha, this has a just absurd amount of content. So let's jump in. Young, let's see. Glasses out the ass. Okay. Uh, so this is our knight, vanguard, sword and shield. Has a longer sword, marksman. It's a big axe on the berserker. It's a big axe. Dreadnought, very paladin esque. I like that armor a lot. That's I'm pretty sure that's custom armor. Hmm. Windblade starting class, rogue. Glint Sorcerer, Starcaller, focuses around gravity, Underworld Mage, employs the Frozen Lightning of the Dragonkin. Oh man, this class does look pretty badass. Volcanist, Stormcaller, so Wind Stuff, Nox Oracle, seeks to revive the glory of the Nox, and Faith Magic Damage. The Necromancer. Oh, man. I mean, we did a Necromancer the last time we played this, but that staff does look good. Frost Witch. Aberrant Heretic. Cast out Sorcerer Society for their crimes in arcane physical damage. So it's like a Blood Mage. Fire Prophet. Fundamentalist. Bestial Devout. Dragon Cultist. Faith Lightning Damage. Godskin Celebrant. Oh, man. Lured by the power of the Black Flame, this priest now searches for the Rune of Death. In Faith, Holy Damage. Frenzied Zealot. Blood Initiate. Servant of Rot. Dude, that armor. Oh, my God. Mystic. Faith Arcane. Magic Damage. A Perfumer. And then the Prisoner. Oh, man. There's a lot to go off of here. Um... I'm, I'm kind of leaning towards the Godskin Celebrant. I wonder if, like, the Black Flame stuff is actually, like, super good now. So I feel like I'm, I'm going to want to focus spells, because I bet there's tons of badass spells. Let's let's do this. Golden Seed, Sacred Tear, a Memory Stone, Lands Between Rune, Combat Remnant, usable while Remnant Crafting at any grace. Don't know what Remnant Crafting is. Uh, for the time being, being let's go memory stone get access to more spells and then i'm not going to worry about the look let's just jump in so for this series more than likely i'm only going to do uh, a singular episode per day but the plan is to make them long episodes so like hour long episodes Mask of Wondrous Physic, Whetstone Knife, Crafting Kit. That's so nice. Just just give me all that stuff. I like that. Knots Conceal and the Cleaver. Passive Effects inflicts Soul Burn. What is that? Soul Burn. Grants trace amounts of runes upon landing attacks. Okay, it's still nice to have. Wild Strikes. Sacred Seal used by the Acolytes. We have Optimal for Holy. Fire is good. So basically, I can work with holy stuff and a little bit of fire stuff, but that's going to be about it. Uh, is there anything on the armor? There is. Hang on. Let me get my... What is it? Switch view right. Simple view. Reduce int and faith by two and reduce FP cost of incantations. By one. By one. Are you also by one? By one. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. So 5% 5 total bonus. Well, let's go in, see what we got. I gotta, I'm gonna have to break the habit and get used to hitting Y to open stuff again. Actually, didn't I have Y as my jump button when I played Elden Ring? I think I did. 
Okay, we are out on Stormhill. Path of the Godskin Celebrant, Faint Rune of the Black Flame. Bro, does this thing have like its own whole ass quest? Rune infused the sacred power of the Black Flame. Learn used to learn several novice level Godslayer incantations. Okay. No, I played with Vi. I definitely played with Vi. The Godskin Seal. Didn't we have that already? Where am I at? Up here, okay. Uh, did I, I didn't hit a button, did I just auto auto loot that? You do, you auto loot stuff now. Black flame dart, black flame burst, black flame blade, okay. Wrong button. Wrong button. It's gonna take a minute. I haven't I haven't done Elden Ring and or, or Souls in general in quite some time. I really like the fact that you just auto loot stuff in the environment. Enchant lasts a while now. Ooh. Cleaver chop. I'm thinking we made the right class. Or I should say pick the right class. I'm liking this a lot so far. It's so weird starting all the way over here. Like, does each class start somewhere different? Because if so, that's insane. Climb up on top of this. I mean, I knew they were going to do big things with this mod, but... Like, I haven't looked into anything, and this is already just, like... Just, wow. The fact that my class starts off, looks like the map's uncovered. So the map is still the same. Do we have the underground? Okay, we do have the underground. Wait a minute, I'm getting FP back somehow. Stagger potential on that seems really high. got the restoration effect, so I assume I cleared out everything that's here. Um, where do we go? I can go, I can warp to the Bridge of Sacrifice. That's it. Hang on, 
there's got to be something else here. Uh, real fast, because I basically wiped my entire save. Let me... Okay, no, it looks like the volume level state. I think that's what we had for volume levels for launch. And we're, of course, playing offline. Ray tracing. Let's put it on. I don't know if it's going to make a difference, to be honest. But we'll, we'll put that on. Ray tracing usually doesn't play too well with me recording. Large somber stone. That's a, that's a win right there. I hear people like, like cries and stuff. Bridge. I gotta figure out how to get torrent. That should be my priority. Real fast. We're just gonna go to the, the title screen to kick on ray tracing. I wanna see if, if it impacts OBS at all. So the um basically the stuff that you use to perform ray tracing is also used when OBS is like recording or streaming. So generally ray tracing ends up not working out well for me and gives me a uh a performance decrease. But I remember hearing the ray tracing for this game wasn't really anything too crazy. I mean, I don't notice a particular difference, to be honest, but... Why are your eyes glowing? Kind of want you to drop that weapon for me. Did you do that? Did you do that? No, you didn't do that. Uh, I guess let's go south. Is this unthinkable? Our hollowed resting place is violated. Refuse the Erd Tree's call to return to live within death, sickening. Okay, um, early play, best thing I think is, well, I should get a little, little endurance. There we go. Let's do that. And then I think we're good. I mean, until I find a spell that requires something else, I think I'm okay. This is a death touch catacomb. I have a feeling that clearing this out is going to get me some, some death stuff. Be a better weapon, maybe more magic, dude. With that. Do respawn. I need to figure out where I get a lantern from. It's going to be necessary. We got two. I got 
those dudes down to a science. I wonder if I could take them down with just two charged heavies. Honestly, the damage increase I'm getting from two-handing this is probably so minimal that I think I should just keep casting open in my offhand. Pathway leading over there. Unless it's hidden. Well, no, not hidden, just ducked. Man, the range on that's impressive. I'll see. 269 on a charge attack. 286. Eh. It's so what? Yeah, it's a 6% damage difference. I think I'm better off with the one hand. Uchi. That's a nice pickup. 11 and 15 with blood loss. This is soul burn and pure holy. Um, it would take some dex investment, but it might be worth picking that up just because this is physical and this is pure holy. So there's going to be, whoa, I just noticed 120, no, you're 120 critical. No, no, you're both 120 critical. I mean, the fact that it's pure holy is interesting. Stop that. What are you doing? It's really not worth going after them. At only 10 souls a kill. Like, I'm so torn. Do I go back to, like, the, the starting area? The chapel? Is it... Is there a point to go back there? I mean, I'd assume they reworked the scaling. And since the map is all uncovered, it's like I, I could go anywhere, really. Let's, uh... No. No, I'm confident in my abilities. I was thinking about going and, and popping off my health, but I'm close enough I can run back in if I die. Black Knife Assassin. gonna kill me. No, he's not. If I can hit one more charged attack, I win. Wait, you know what? Nope, not what I meant to do. Dude, what's my health at? What is my health at? Enemy fell. The simmering rune of black flame. On detailed view. And I'm gonna swap screen. And I have 70... No, okay, I'm healing a little bit. I did not. I think I had like one health when I beat him. Sure felt like it. And a death root and celebrant's rib rake. I'll tell you what, that was a little sketchy at the end there. I did.
did go in with only one heal, but worked out. Okay, you require 14 decks. Okay, that works out. That's the same as I would need the 15 for this. So go up to 14. Piercing Fang inflicts soul burn and causes blood loss buildup. It's a spear. Increase amounts of runes. That sounds really good to me. 14 decks, so. I didn't even check damage type on it. Pure holy, okay. Well, I did say I wanted a new weapon. I do like the cleaver a lot, though. Cleaver is is uh, really good to me. Um, let's. I don't know for sure, but on the off chance that I do get the horse, still I want to go over there because the horse. Well, I mean, I guess I could fast travel down here. But I don't think that's going to be faster, and I think getting access to torrent should be a priority right now. That was not what I wanted to do. I was really hoping to kill them with that. Oh god. Damn, dude. Dogs. Can't mess with dogs. I just looked over at OBS. We're at tw 23 minutes. See, this is this is why Elden Ring episodes have to be like an hour. Like, there's just, I mean, for the DLC, we'll obviously figure out times, but I mean, time just disappears when you play this game. Like you won't even notice and you'll be like, oh, it's been 45 minutes already. Jesus. I can lure him out. range on that is quite impressive. Uh, that's gonna, just going to go wild strikes. Okay. Mm, that's going to hurt if it connects. Sixty runes for that kill. Sure didn't feel like a lot. Looks like we have very slow FP generation as well. Like just consistently regens. Some fire bombs. 
for some fire grease for cotton or fur culling finger remedy. Okay, okay, hang on. If the giants are here. You go over there. I think the graces are probably the same. If they are, Path of the Berserker. The graces are the same. There's one that Fs there is, okay. This is uh, all is it alt Z? Hang on, I'm gonna put on um keep an eye on my frames here. Do 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 uh, and the side HUD I want performance FPS up at the top. Thought it was just alt Z. Or is it alt F? Second. Um Hotkey. Hmm, I thought I put it on, but I'm not seeing it. I hit Alt Z, and then I should. I go to a layout. And FPS is set to on in the top corner, but I'm not seeing it at all. I'm not going to concern myself with it. Let's talk to you. Hey, bro. Okay, so you got standard stuff. Um, getting access to parry is useful. So, I'm going to see how easy it would be to kill a giant. Or a troll. Uh, if I can kill a couple trolls, I need I need to get 15, 14 decks, two levels. That's needed. So I need to have about roughly six thousand. And this thing does some mean stagger, so I think I can. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. I say before I'm stomped for half my health. Destroy each other. dead. Come on. These guys used to be worth roughly a thousand a pop. Hell? 10? Wait, no, that's not right. It said 10, but I got more than 10. Hmm. Weird. It's alpha. I'm not gonna stress about it.
Oh, that's the trace runes I'm getting from attacking. It's because I get trace runes on hit. So we are getting a thousand per still. Yeah, you ugly. Let's go. It's so funny to think, like, I remember first first time, first time I played Elden Ring. You know, these guys were just like, oh, oh my god. Like, they were, you know, this massive basically insurmountable challenge at launch like the idea of like I'm gonna go and kill all of the trolls is not something you'd ever consider doing but obviously more experience Makes things a completely different ball game. Fifty-six hundred. Okay. And before we kill the last one, come on, buddy. Have him break that statue. Keep coming. I don't know if we still do HP percentage based damage. What I do know is the range on that ability is amazing. Yeah, what are you doing? Come on. I'm right here. I'm still hitting you. Why are you running? There we go. That's what I want to see. Yeah, come on, get over here. Actually, let's let's just run because we're we're not that far from Gatehouse. Well, no, you know what? No, let's, let's be smart about this. Last thing I want to do is lose the runes I just farmed up. Okay. Damage isn't as high, but blood loss. And obviously the range of poking people. So I think the two the two biggest things that I should aim to acquire. Oh my god, the stagger on that is so good. Tell I'm gonna have a lot of fun with this mod. That's juicy. 
This is actually pretty dope because God Slayer is one of the few builds that I've never, I still haven't done. Like it just, I don't know. That's one of my, that's actually one of my like big hopes for the DLC. I really want to see God Slayer stuff expanded. Which with a name like Shadow of the Erd Tree, I think it's pretty likely that we'll see something involving God Slaying. You know, back, I, I don't know, my... This seems like a good time as any to talk about DLC expectations. So, uh, my thought and expectation of the DLC is I'm going to guess that based on the the rider, I think that's Mikola. Because we know that Mikola was previously Torrent's rider and we see somebody riding Torrent. Who else would it be, right? My guess is we go to the Domain of Blood, we interact with the Cocoon, we're warped back in time to, like, before the, before Goblin's death, before all that stuff. And that's where stuff goes down. And I think Shadow of the Erd Tree refers to kind of the Erd Tree's rise and how it, it comes up into power. As opposed to... I mean, I don't know, though. It does look like a decaying Erd Tree, though. So it could be post the events of the game. And Mikola has awakened. And we're seeing... Uh, you know, what's left of the Erd Tree, the Erd Tree, uh, you know, dying, assuming that, well, but, I mean, that's weird, because it would put us into, it would choose a specific ending as canon. Yes. Spirit jellyfish. Oh, I have Spectral Steed Whistle. Huh. Well, we can remove you. I never use those things. I hate that thing. And I can go straight to round table hold. Man, a lot of the stuff that I was like, I wonder how X is going to work. No, they've already thought of it. Welcome to the I teach and explore so that one ensuring by the way. I want to talk to the NPCs, see what kind of stuff we have. So I know fire works somewhat for me. I don't really need that. Urgent heal. Could be useful in a pinch. Hmm. Rune shards. HP and stamina recovery. That sounds better than urgent heal. Especially because I have a spell slot. And I'm going to need runes for what we're about to do. Probably not going to be enough, but I'll get what I can. Somber stone is needed for that. Somber stone is needed for that. Smithing stone is needed for that. Uh, for now, let's let's upgrade our seal then. That seems like a no-brainer. You know, upgrade the magic potential we can do. And then, are we able to? We're still. Oh no, we're light load right now. Throwing you while we go into a medium load. That's okay. I can work with a medium load work with a medium load and uh we're gonna we're gonna push some more into stamina for sure uh where do i want to go let's keep going south because I, I think progression progression looks like it's gonna still be similar to what it is like a lot of stuff has been streamlined you know we obviously we have torn already like let's see our seeds still just picked up by these trees. If so, they are. Alright. If that's the case, I should make a loop. I should get... I think, what other seeds is this? I have to start...
Grab a couple of the early graces. This grace is always useful because I can test things out here. God, that delay swing. God, I'm so bad with buckler parries. Nope, I'm dead. Oh god, the heal barely to get it out that attack. I'm liking that a lot, because I don't have a good way to get through shields. That's a good way to get through shields. So arms, great sword. It looks like a lot of loot is still where it would be. I'm guessing the the majority of focus on the mod. Let's actually look it up. I would guess it's around classing and uh, and status, like how classes function and all that. Want to read the full mod description? Virgin's mod is an exhaustive overhaul of Elden Ring with dozens of new weapons, hundreds of new spells, extensively revamped areas and maps, improved visuals, new enemies, bosses, and much more. And the rest is just credits. So this is typically the whetstone. What's down here now? Let's check. Large somber. I keep finding <laughs> I keep finding large sombers, but I'm not finding regular sombers. So I need to, let's see, what do we got? how long do we got? We're at 45 minutes already, Jesus. Uh, let's go, well, hang on, let me cross this bridge. There's usually a somber one over here. What do you have now, Spiky Ball? Somber. That's nice. Wasn't the somber I was going for, but I'll take it. Regular smithing stone. Okay, over here is typically a somber. Okay, that's still there. Uh, so that's two sombers. I'm assuming a gill still probably swoops in. Um, we're not going to do it right now, but I want to go over here and grab the cave. The caves, with all the, uh, the stones you get, those should definitely be a priority. Obviously, we're not going to be doing this um, like it's a 100% playthrough or anything. You know, I'm not going to hit every single cave in the game. I think that's that's silly. Uh, with this being a mod, I'm just I'm here to have fun. I would assume a gill still swoops in. We're gonna grab. Get let's get this cave, and then I want to run by the church because there's some stuff there, kale. And then I think I want to make my way south into Weeping Peninsula. 
And I want to get access to a lantern. I think a lantern is... Uh, I think it's one of the more important things to get at the start of a playthrough. Because I'm guessing a lot of the, the... The overworld doesn't look like it's been redesigned, obviously, but... The dungeon that we did at the start, that was obviously brand new. That was not a... I mean, the dungeon itself existed. Uh, but, you know, the, the enemies that were in there, the layout of it, that was all completely new. So I'm assuming a lot of the dungeons have been redone. But because of that, I don't want to experience all of them. Because there's obviously a lot of potential for replayability here. And especially given this is alpha... This is definitely something where I could do my first playthrough now, and then do a second playthrough on stream. I see you're still here. We'll take him down, but I'll, I'll wait a little bit. I love the auto loot, man. That's that's something that honestly they could Rumsoft could could uh, definitely improve the overall game by just picking up stuff in the overworld like that. Huh. I always thought it was Kale. I guess it's Kale. Either way, you have a lantern, so that's nice. Uh, and you have a somber. I'll buy that as well. Uh, what else do you got? Partisan. Don't need that. I do... F war uh, I buy it. My thing is, I suck at using the buckler. So I either get good at the buckler, or I buy a different shield. So... 30? 30? Bro, I'm selling you this. I got an extra. Okay. That's good. I'm gonna hop back and see what else I need to put upgrades in here. It's nice that I picked up the, the lantern from him. Uh, I mean, I'm still gonna do parts of Weeping Peninsula, but I don't, like, have to haul ass all the way down there to, to get a lantern now. Well, I took you from my man to lay out your own. Okay, so now you are on to larges. 925. Do I have anything I could sell to get up to that kind of money? Hmm. Thought I sold my extra seal. Halfway there. We're gonna use that. Now that I got my spear, I'm not gonna use that. Keep parry. 900, 900. Let's sell the beast blood. I'm like a hundred short. Wow. Okay, well, that takes care of that. One more for another thousand. I know where we're gonna get a thousand from. Oh, I'm so dumb. Bro. How did I went there? I didn't grab the damn grace. Alright. I didn't even think about selling the row of flute, but that's the that's that's the that is the way. Alright, let's... I, I think we're in... I mean, I don't know if these go up all the way. But at plus four... Well, actually, I might get my ass whooped here. Because I don't think... I feel... Like a dude is going to be resistant to holy damage. I don't know for sure... But I sure feel like he is. 
I also really hope this video is looking good, because OBS, it doesn't seem like it's running as smooth as it should, but that could just be the preview recording, because it shows I'm maintaining 60 FPS. Come here, ugly. Oh, I can definitely win this. Oh. You want to fight? Not playing that follow up there. Ah, maybe I don't need to fight you just yet. Sketchy. I'm dead. <laughs> I saw him running at me and I already pressed the button for Black Flame. I mean, I got him half dead on my first attempt. This way oh, hey. Well, yeah, of course you could. I am the witch. I'd heard tanned upon look a talk. I know art was a call forth. I was in trust by torrents. Tis of summon them with a spirit now it is that. Thank you. Forgive my intrusion, tarnished. Come on, jellyfish. My jelly. Ow. Hurt. Oh. Okay. Gotta be very careful with the timing here. Oh no. Jellyfish. Okay, Holy does way more to you than I thought it would. Some drive by black flame bursts. This black flame burst I'm getting 160 out of.
I feel very cheeky doing this, but it's like... Get fucked? Ooh! Ooh, that one hurt a lot. Wow. Let's go. Oh well, you made it through that, and off you trotted. But oh, you before the right fear. You I don't blame. Why not? Ah, to join the rat with the. Two. They are the. Mm. Let me, um... You know what? No, let's go back to base. Oh, hang on. Eh, yeah, I can get him real fast. It's like 200 runes. I might as well put uh, the other upgrade into this thing. I'm liking this, this spear a lot. Great somber stones. And it's gonna be a while before I find one of those, I think. Plus five, plus four. Looking at BB. So the bare minimum of strength and dex. And I wanna focus on my other stats. Let's not get a level. <laughs> it's like we're not getting a level. Um, looking at the time though, I think we're coming right up on that hour mark. Me, um, is there a seed? Alright. I think the play is we wrap up here. And then next episode, I think what we're going to do is head down here. Just because even off the top of my head, I remember there being... Yeah, the seed here, the church here, the church here. And that's, I mean, that's seeds and sacred tears. And then beyond that, probably swing down into this church and then get some physics stuff. If the physics stuff is the same too, there's the Erd Tree Guardian here and the bubble physic, which is pretty nice. So we are going to uh, continue this on tomorrow. We're off to a pretty good start so far. Not really a fan of my fashion, but, you know, that'll change as time goes on. Either way, let me know what you think. How is Convergence shaping up? Catch y'all down below in the comments, and I'll see you tomorrow with more.